Hi there, this is Group 2 from Mechanical EDA. Uh, I'm going to talk about how we designed and built the bridge. My name's Oscar. So, from the bridge you can see here, we decided to go from the Warren Truss Bridge with the uh, verticals in the middle. We started constructing a model, which is actually just here. Started constructing a model uh, with the Warren verticals and it worked quite well, really. The smaller one, because it was only about 300 millimetres, held 330 newtons when we tested it on the first day. Uh, it roughly, in our actual project, when we started designing it, it roughly was about 200 sticks and we think it's going to be around 250 grams. We decided not to use PVA glue on uh, our actual project just because the glue gun was much shorter and it seemed to hold the sticks in place pretty well. Uh, as you can see from the diagrams here, this is the bottom of the uh, truss and this is the design for it looking from the top. We decided to do triangles here for added strength so the bridge wouldn't bend and when the weight was applied it was nice and strong. We also put uh, flat horizontal sticks on the bottom of the bridge. Uh, this helped because when we did our testing uh, this part of the bridge actually snapped. So these kind of help keep the bridge stable when it's on the supports on either end of the two metal bars that it was resting on. Okay, I'm going to hand over to Dexter. Uh, hi, I'm Dexton. Uh, I'm going to continue talking about how I was built and designed. Um, for the top part, as you can see here, it's all um, crisscross, so that for the uh, five kilogram load to um, rest on top of it, and so that it, yeah, because for the the previous bridge, like uh, the it was resting on top of the. The, the five kilogram load was resting on top of the bridge and it didn't really hold as well, so we just added this for added strength. And we picked the Warren Trust design, the Warren Trust design with verticals because it's uh, apparently the simplest and um, strongest bridge. Yeah, yeah so. Nice, Oscar. Uh, hi, I'm Brett, and I'm going to talk about why we use the Warren Trust and why we do the bridge like this. So, we use the Warren Trust because, based on the research, and the Warren Trust is combines strength with less number of material, so therefore it's uh, relatively lightweight. And our Warren Trust has additional vertical verticals members within the triangles, like uh, it's shown here, and it's mainly we use this it's because the it's for support the upper upper members and it's basically uh, used to stabilize the structure and also it's used for pre prevent the risk of buckling yeah so that, that's all uh, hi i'm jarvis and i'm going to be talking about uh, what results we expected so we made a smaller version of our bridge for testing, which was 300 millimeters long. When we tested it, it held uh, 321 newtons and weighed 120 grams. So this gave us an efficiency of around 2.6. So this let us calculate what kind of results we would expect when we increase the length of the bridge to 500. So we estimate it will probably weigh around 250 grams and we reckon it could probably hold around 800 newtons. So that should give us an efficiency ratio of around 3.2. Okay. Um, so my name's Callum, uh, and I'm doing the what did we learn part of the section. Um, for, so what we learned is, Simply like how we put real life um, applications of what we learned in our in our lessons last year from our mechanics lectures. Um, also, the importance of teamwork and communication. Um, we're being able to design and listen to take people's points of views. Um, the importance of research, uh, researching different design bridges uh, on Google to come up with the lightest and yet the bridge with the highest tensile strength um, by brainstorming and collecting data, uh, such as putting a flat top and bridge to help with um, weight distribution. Um, also, the importance of the attention to detail and manufacturing. Um, so when we actually did ours, it wasn't the light pops that actually broke, it was more the glue that just came off. So uh, being able to decide 
how we're going to assemble it and which choice of assembly we're going to use. Um, and lastly, also the importance of test mules to improve our design, with the original test mule being able to carry 321 newtons, and the end result of having being able to carry more, which shows the improvements that we made, and also the importance of reinforcing the struts needed to compensate the extra weight. Doing conclusion of our teamwork, teamwork uh, before we start to creating our bridge, we separate our roles about uh, who is doing what parts. And uh, during the uh, the whole lab works, we create two bridges. Like uh, we pretest the first one, and we start to find out the uh, disadvantages and advantages of our first creation. And uh, after that, it's not achieve our expectations, so we create another bridge, and we create more carefully, and we suit the uh, the good parts of our previous one. Uh, through this teamwork, the lab work, uh, we not only learn to uh, how to bridge, uh, how to create a bridge, the knowledge of it, and also uh, get informations about teamworks.